Hey, what's up guys with this here and today this is a very special kind of video because today I'm going to download Google Images that is we will download every single image while searching on the Google for example let's open my Chrome browser and I search for Roach then here you can see that it is all image etc etc then when I click on the image tab it will open a bunch of images but how to download that this was a very serious problem while making the application called know it if you don't know what is know it then i will put a link to that in the description down below you can download that because i have created this application called know it and it uses our camera our mobile camera to detect what we are seeing this is the object detection application okay that's fine okay so it was a very tough issue for because if you click on this and then you will say like save image as this and say something okay so this was a very long time process and it took very much time for uh, creating such a huge app because you want to train any of your model using c and n means uh, convolutional neural networks and you will need a bunch of images it is it's not about hundred a thousand but more than uh, 10,000 to 15,000 so downloading them manually is not an easy task that's why I came here for a solution and as you can see the title is suggesting how to download images from Google so I will make a program well it's already made and I will show you how to download your images from Google search using that program in Python programming language so let's see how our program will work and what is contained in that program okay so here it is I'm gonna open it with idle with my 3.5 python then here we go so as you can see that we have imported a lot of module but pay your attention here because argument parsing json iterators logging regular all of this means all of these are inbuilt we are going to use only beautiful soap for scrapping the images this is a third party application if you not application this is a model sorry if you don't have beautiful soup installed already on your system then uh, what you are going to do is just open your command prompt and hit pip install pip install where it go beautiful soup 4 okay because uh, we are working with bs4 it's a version because so my requirement is already satisfied because i have already installed so you just only need to install this for using this program and then I'm gonna tell you what we are going to do in this program so first of all we have imported arg parse which is used for parsing the arguments I will show you how this works then we have used JSON and iter tools for performing a uh, means uh, a very particular type of iteration and this helps a lot in uh, consuming our data so then we have used logging so why we are using logging because uh, if you are building something and you cannot just download uh, Google images for that and if you do that then you have to provide some citation kind of thing uh, to them means you are appreciating their work because you are not using your own image you are downloading others images that is every single web web URL will be saved for each images in a separate file that will be named as log.txt so that's why I'm using this then after that we have regular expressions then OS as already you know and what is UUID it provides us a um, unique ID that's why I'm using I will show you where it goes and this is for some system works and then the most important of all is URL LIP for making requests through our Python program over the internet and finally we have used beautiful so for scrapping the websites etc for web images then we have created a function which is a logging function and this will print everything that is this will as you can see a stream handler this will stream everything we are working on uh, for example you are downloading an image then it will print what image is being downloaded and where it is saved and if you get any error then it will print uh, errors and uh, also as i said earlier it will create a log.txt file where it will where it will save everything means the url of every image every single image that will be useful then we have returned logger and finally we have used a variable named logger as a function returning a function 
as from configure logging means logger is same as this return logger from that function okay. then we have used request header which is often used while scrapping the uh, urls using beautiful soap for example we are a user agent which is a dictionary and we are uh, accessing that information from uh, this uh, header file this header then we have extracted our soup means beautiful soup as usual as its name sounds so i have created get soup it consists of two parameters namely url and header each url of the image itself and then it will return the soup beautiful soup and then get query url is the google search url plus the query means we will input our query plus this if you don't know what this is, I have already made a, a lot of videos, namely two or three, uh, explaining what this thing is, what this is. So I will put them down in the description. You can watch them. Okay. So then we have extracted all the images from soup, which is returned by the soup, which is here. I will use this one for extracting the images. Then we have created our raw images from as you can see, I have used headers equal to request header for extracting the raw images from the URL. Finally, we have saved the images and it will consist of raw image, image type, save directory parameters. As you can see that raw image, image type and save directory are the parameters here and each will be required while using this function while saving the image, each and every image. We will finally use a directory for downloading all the images to that directory and if any exception occurs we will print those uh, exceptions using logger this is very reliable for printing and uh, doing some stuff like that so that's why i'm using logger and finally we have a function called run and it will uh, consist of three parameters first one is query means what we will search for example flowers rose or or anything you want then we have a save directory means where you want to save the images and the number of images is set to 100 you can do less than that and please note here that it this program cannot download more than 100 images at a single go because there are some uh, some conditions for everything I will try to make a video on that explaining why this cannot be done and a solution to that hopefully I will come through that in later videos okay and finally is our main function and here as i already said i will be using argument parser means i will run my program through command prompt and where i will give this program arguments like search item means search query and number of images default will be 100 not one and directory will be where you want to save your image the default is this for mine you can change and you need to change that because it will give you error if you don't do that finally i have an args variable which will contain all of this input data from the user means argument from the user and finally i have run this function using all these parameters and Finally, if name equals main, then our main function will be executed. And since this is always true, always true, our main function will always be executed. So, let me show you how this works. Okay. So here is my command prompt. Okay. Here we go. And okay. So first of all, what you need to do, come to the place in the directory where your program is saved. Then hit python image download.py then dash t for directory your directory will be this in my case it is uh, c slash rites mora etc etc and then the search query is python i'm gonna change this to i think roses okay and then the n means the number of images is 10 and you can download images ranging from 1 to 100 not more than that and not less than 1 okay so let's run it and see what happens okay here we go so it is extracting image links and souping them okay so it might be slow depending on your machine structure because 
at this moment I am running a lot of programs that's why it is uh, so slow but not at all here we go these are just uh, confidence means we used the header files from which web server it is using uh, it is uh, means souping our information that's why so here I am getting error means what it says no error to no such file or directory this is uh, because uh, I think I okay okay so why is that error occurring because I gave it a directory named rites more slash desktop slash pix but uh, that pix folder is does not exist yet so I have to create that folder I am showing you this because you might get this error means uh, your directory is this and so on so let me run it again and it will take some time then it will print it will download our images let's open our directory where it goes okay 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 so it will take some time okay here we go and from now depending on your internet connection it will download images so it's slow come on let me close this operation because it's taking some time okay so it downloads five images which are all of them are here one two three four five so all of these are very good quality images while open as you can see here where it goes as you can see it is an HD high definition image and what is this image if you remember if I search for roses then here are the images and you can see that the same the same ones are here one two three four five take a deep look again so I mean to say that whatever you search on this uh, search bar and come to the images link and then it will give you a lot of uh, means images so what I mean to say that if if you are searching for anything in this search bar and then come to this link means images then there will be a lot of images and my pro means the image downloader program will download all of them one thing I forgot to mention that what is this log.txt file so I have said in my z directory and when I after downloading the images when I open this okay here we go so this is the log.txt file and I have opened it as append file for example however much of images you download all of them will be appended to that file for example first of all I downloaded 10 images then I got this error as you guys saw in the video like no such file or directory after that I downloaded five images and where it go okay so finally we downloaded five images so this is a log file so you can see that we have got the link of every every image for example here it here is the link so that's it for this video and hope you guys like it so guys thanks for watching and as always keep supporting me by subscribing and please support me on patreon if you like bye bye and have a nice day years